Hi friends, I am back in my in my channel Easy Learning Lab. So friends, in my previous videos, we have gone through the SQLs and the basic categories of SQLs. In my this videos, we will we will cover the one the first category that is a DDL commands. So friends, let's start. So first one is a create statement. What does create statement do? This command is used to create a table in a database. So what it does, it create the table into the database. It create that object into a database. So the syntax is very simple. Create table, table name, bracket, column name, data type, second column name, data type, bracket close, semicolon, and just I have given you an example of creating a student table. That is a create table student and we have a name and an age as a column and where care 30 and a number as a data type of that columns. It will create a table with student which has having name and an age as a column. But it has not created any rows. It has just created the structure of the table. Next command is truncate. This command is used to remove the records from the table like remove the rows from the table. So we have a delete command also, but delete command is delete and truncate command have some some major differences. In delete command, we can use a where clause. We can limit the number of rows to delete, but in a truncate, we cannot limit. It will read all the records. So I will come to this topic in my next videos. But for time being, just understand this truncate commands. The syntax of this truncate command is truncate table table name. So I've just given you the example truncate table student. What it does, it will remove all the rows from this student table. So this will delete all the records from table student also remove spaces from the records. So I will cover this in my later topic where I tell you the difference between a truncate and a delete command. In that video, I will cover this topic. But for time being, just remember this syntax. Now next is very important that's the alter, alter command. This alter command is used to alter the structure of the table. For example, like if you want to add some new column into a, into a table, like you want to add a gender column into the table. So use the alter command to use this. So what is the syntax? Alter table, table name, add column, column, column data type column to data type, etc. So just remember the syntax for dropping also, like if you want to drop some columns from that table, you use a drop uh, alter, alter table with a drop column command. If you want to modify that column, you need an alter table with the modify clause. So just for example, if you want to add a gender column into the table, so what you do? alter table student add gender data type you define a data type that is a where care one so this command will insert that column into that table structure alter that and alter that column into this the structure table structure similarly if you want to drop that column from the table you use the alter table student drop column gender so what it does it drop that column and the third one is you want to modify the data type of it. Like earlier you have added it where care one. Now you want to increase the size of it. Like you want to increase the size of uh, gender column to where care three. So you use this modify command. So next command is a drop. If you want to drop the whole table from a database, you use this drop command. So the syntax is very simple. Drop table, table name drop table student this is example simple example very easy to learn and next command is rename command like if you want to rename the name of the table you want to modify that the name of the table you use this rename command syntax is alter table table name rename to a new table name so example is simple alter table student rename to student info 
what does this means now this table is referred as a student info not as a student this table name has been changed to a student info just you want to remember all the syntax of it while we do a practice then you can learn this uh, and slowly slowly you you will learn this all the commands all the syntaxes Thank you friends this is all about ddl in my next video we will cover a very important topic that is a dml so i will tell you the syntax and what are the dml operations we can perform like insert update delete if you like my videos just subscribe me like it and thank you